Welcome back to The Real Deal everyone and today we're going to discuss what buyers and sellers need to know about the appraisal gap. It's Economy 101. When supply is low and demand is high, prices naturally rise. That's what's happening in today's housing market. Home prices are appreciating at near historic rates and that's creating some challenges when it comes to home appraisals. In recent months, it's become increasingly common for an appraisal to come in below the contract price on the house. Sean Telford, chief appraiser for CoreLogic, explains it like this. Quote, recently we observed buyers paying prices above listing price and higher than the market data available to appraisers can support. This difference is known as the appraisal gap. Why does an appraisal gap happen? Basically, with the heightened buyer demand, purchasers are often willing to pay over asking to secure the home of their dreams. If you've ever toured a house you've fallen in love with, you understand. Once you start to picture yourself and your furniture in the rooms, you want to do everything you can to land the property, including putting in a higher offer to try and beat out the other would-be buyers. When the appraiser comes in, they look at things a bit more objectively. Their job is to assess the inherent value of the home, so they're going to study the facts. Dustin Harris, appraiser coach, drives this point home. Quote, it's important for everyone to understand that the appraiser's job in the end is to remain that unbiased third party, to truly tell the client what that home is worth in the current market, regardless of what decisions have been made on the price side of things. In simple terms, while home buyers may be willing to pay more, appraisers are there to assess the market value of the home. Their goal is to make sure the lender isn't loaning more money than the home is worth. It's objective rather than emotional. In a highly competitive market like today's, having a discrepancy between two numbers isn't unusual. Here's a look at the increasing rate of appraisal gaps according to data from CoreLogic. What does this mean for you? Ultimately, knowledge is power. The best thing you can do is understand appraisal gaps may impact your transaction if you're buying or selling. If you do encounter an appraisal below contract price, know that in today's seller's market, the most common approach for the seller to ask the buyer is to up the difference in price. Buyers will be prepared to bring extra money to the table if you really want the home. Above all else, Lean on your real estate agent, whether you're a buyer or a seller, your trusted advisor will be your ally if you come up against an appraisal gap. We'll help you understand your options and handle any additional negotiations that need to happen. Let's get to the bottom line, ladies and gents. In today's real estate market, it's important to stay informed on the latest trends. Let's connect today so you have an ally to help you navigate the appraisal gap to the best possible outcome. That's all we've got time for today on this episode of The Real Deal. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me, and we'll see you next week.